All right, hello YouTube people. So, wanted to do a just a quick review of my uh, new Android head unit in my 2008 Subaru Outback. Uh, this is a 2008 Outback Limited 2.5. Um, this is the the stock radio, uh, dumb radio, obviously from this era. Uh, you know, standard, just AM/FM satellite. It has an aux which was nice, but really wanted to kind of modernize this car a little bit. You know, it's a great car. And with the way car prices are now, I'm not, you know, in any huge hurry to buy a new car, but I really wanted uh, something a little bit more modern. So I found out that, uh, you know, you can get these kits now um, that are almost completely plug and play, um, complete with the, with the new face, plate and everything with the vents um so i'm very happy overall i'd give this thing like a four out of five stars so right now i have um this is not the stock uh launcher on here um this is a launcher that i found recommended uh, uh that you have to pay for it's three dollars i haven't paid for it yet but i'm going to buy it um but this is called the agama uh, car launcher which is very customizable um I'll show you the uh, the stock launcher. So I have to go to uh, uh, how do I do it? I think I have to go into the Android settings uh, to get to the stock launcher. So go to home, change my home app. Uh, home app. Yeah, default is just launcher. So this is what the, the stock launcher looks like. Um, but I really wanted to have... Uh, I'm mostly going to use Android Auto. So I just wanted Android Auto to be quickly accessible. And the cool thing about that Agama launcher is you can set an app to automatically launch. So I have uh, I have it set to automatically launch um, Android Auto after uh, five seconds. Uh, but you could do the same thing with CarPlay or anything else. Um, but I'll just show you the, the specs of this guy um, if I go back into settings. Uh, so this is the uh, four core, uh, two gigahertz or two gigabyte RAM version of these. You can get these in different uh, varying specs. Uh, from what I've read, um, really the two gigabyte memory is kind of the bare minimum of what you want to get. Some of them only come with one gig of RAM, and that's really going to be limiting. Um, so let me go back into, uh, go in here, go to system, let's see, about, what does it say in here? So it is running Android 11. Um, I guess it doesn't really show in here the, uh, the specs, but I think if I go in here, System info. Yeah, it's saying it says it's running a and Cortex A7 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, the display resolution is only 1024 by 600, but it's actually a very nice looking display. I'm pretty pretty impressed with it for the price. Uh, the the audio sound it sounds pretty decent. Um, don't, I don't really notice any difference between this and just the stock head unit in terms of how it sounds. Um, let me go back to that, go back to that launcher. Uh, that Agama launcher, which I want to kind of showcase a little bit more, which is really cool. As you can see, like this thing is pretty responsive. I mean, for even though it's pretty low spec, um, as long as you're not like trying to play games on it or anything, uh, it works totally fine. So, like I said, this thing is, this launcher is totally customizable. So you can click on any of these uh, buttons and you can change what app it is. So this wasn't default. I changed it to, uh, so on this, on this thing, Z-Link is how it launches Android Auto. Um, so I, I set that there and then I renamed it to uh, Android Auto. Um, but here, just to kind of show you what the capabilities are. Uh, so I do have the GPS antenna 
plugged in and um, I just kind of wired it around the side and just stuck it here. This might just be temporary, I don't know. It would be nice to, to have it up behind the dash uh, or even go up the like the A-pillar. Uh, but that would be a lot of work to do that. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much, how much I really care to do that, but. Huh. That's interesting. So it's like showing the weather information too. I didn't even realize that it did that. Um, but it's putting it in, showing it in Celsius, which I'm American, so I do, uh, Fahrenheit, but whatever, that's cool. Plus six degrees Celsius. Um. But yeah, this just open up a. I'll open up a couple apps just so you can see what the performance is like on this thing. Um, so I have this new pipe, which is a YouTube alternative. I'll just pull up. Uh, I don't know, just pull up some random video. Uh, let's look for like a 4K, 4K demo. And this totally bypasses the stock radio. Like, even though the stock radio turns on, it doesn't do anything. <clears throat> All right. So that's running totally fine. Actually, let's go into the YouTube app and do it. Uh, so if you uh, swipe down and hit this clean up uh, button, it'll basically close any app that's running. And then it goes back to the default launcher. So I'll go back to this Gamma launcher, yeah. All right. Oops, go back, go to apps. I go to YouTube. Uh, it's saying I need to update the app. <laughs> I mean, you can definitely tell the resolution is kind of low. I mean, even from here, I can kind of see like a screen door effect. Uh, but I mean, for navigation, it's totally fine. Like, I'm not going to be watching YouTube or or movies while I'm driving, obviously. That would be incredibly dangerous, but really just wanted it for navigation and Bluetooth. So, I mean, I can tell just by using it, you know, it's not as fast as my phone, obviously. I have a fairly decent uh, Android phone, um, but I mean, it's totally fine. So that's doing its thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in uh, so I can show you how Android Auto works. Just gotta put this camera down for a second. So for the USB cable, uh, I just kind of ran it out the side too. And I have an extension, extended uh, USB cable. So I'm gonna probably reroute that and maybe drill a hole in the center console or something. Okay, YouTube's done, so installing. So I can open that up. Let's look for a 4K video, see if it can play 4K. Obviously the screen can't do 4K, but I just want to see if it has any trouble decoding it. Oops. I'm put that in full screen. Go to the settings icon. <laughs> settings, quality. Hmm, interesting. So the highest that lets me go is 1080p. 
Let's look at the stats. Huh, what happened? Weird. For some reason the stats aren't coming up, but it's playing, uh, yeah, it's very smooth. 1080p on a 1024 by 600 screen. I mean, yeah, it's definitely possible. Like, I, I wouldn't mind watching something on this screen. <laughs> but anyways, I couldn't stop that. Gonna launch into that uh, Android Auto app in five seconds. I just plugged in my phone, so it should just. Uh... Yep, Android Auto is connected. Should launch up in a second. I don't want to. I want to show you guys where I live, but. Uh... But yeah, here's Android Auto. And I'm using VLC Media Player, and yeah, Android Auto worked great. Which is pretty much 90% of what I wanted this thing for. Uh, <coughs> there are a couple small complications with this thing. Uh, so One thing is, A, it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really clip in very well. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to kind of mount it better so it doesn't doesn't, doesn't like fall out while I'm driving as you saw, as you saw I was able to pull that out pretty easily um, so that's the first thing I got to figure out and then the second thing is the way the uh, there's supposed to be these like vents that clip on the back but apparently from what I read online this thing was designed to um, work with European cars which have a different uh, different vent design so now you probably can't see back there but there's um the stock piece has these two um you know vents um tubes ducts uh plastic ducts that come off the back and then they made up with some ducts inside there um, which the idea is you're supposed to take those off and put them on here but uh there is another video on youtube which i can link to <coughs> that goes into detail how to how to modify like cut those off and then modify it i don't know if i want to go and do that i'm thinking about just going to home depot and getting finding some small flexible ducting and kind of mocking up something that way um maybe just with some with some tape for now just to see how that works i i don't really want to cut up any of the stock pieces or have to go and buy you know a second stock you know center vent with the cubby um, kind of seems like a waste of money to me. And if I ever sell this car, I might want to put it back to stock. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, I mean, I give this thing probably a four out of five. Like I said, um, for the price, it was 150 bucks. It's uh, totally worth it. Uh, in my opinion, um, it's not, not perfect, which is why I wouldn't give it a five star. Um, and if it was more expensive, you know, obviously I wouldn't give, I wouldn't even give it four stars if it was more expensive, but considering the price and I, you know, back in the day, I paid more for like regular radio head units, um, that didn't have all this smart features. Um, I would say it's, it's pretty awesome for what it is. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I can't say, like I've only had this a few days, so I can't speak to its longevity or how it'll hand up, you know, hold up. Um, in hot weather, it's, it's November here, um, uh, and it's, you know, cold outside, obviously you can tell by the temperature, so, uh, we'll see how that holds up over time, but, oh, uh, there is the other one, one other thing that I've noticed, which is, um, I don't know if this was something I did, or if it's because of this, uh, the, uh, backlights on the radio don't seem to work anymore. So, like, if I have the, I have the, 
turn on the headlights, like these are supposed to light up. Uh, they don't light up anymore. And I don't know why that is. Everything else lights up. Like this lights up. You can't really tell. But uh, the seat heaters, they light up. Um, the HV's AC controls should be lit up too, but they don't seem to be lighting up now. And I don't know if that's because of the the adapter harness. Like there's an issue with that. Um, or if I didn't plug something in back in correctly. I'm pretty sure I, everything is correct because I took this thing out a couple times to double check. But uh, it's not really a big deal to me too much because... You know, if I if I have to, I can just turn on one of the reading lights to, to see this at night. And I don't, I don't drive a, a ton at night anyways, but um, that is something to mention. Um, oh, yeah, and there's one other thing. So I do have a backup camera installed, uh, but I wasn't able to get it to, to activate automatically when in reverse. So I can start this thing up. So if I put it in reverse, what I... What I did is I put in uh, put this button here for the camera, so I can manually launch the camera, and the camera's not really it's not permanently mounted yet. I was just kind of mocking things up because I'm gonna have to uh, do a little something to um, <coughs> kind of come up with a way to mount it better. But anyways, um, the yeah the there's supposed to be a signal wire. Uh, on the back of the radio that senses power uh, and then it should just activate the camera automatically but I could not for the life of me get it to work I you know triple checked the wiring um, read the manual um, the only way I can get it to work is just doing this thing manually um, by going into this this app that it has so I do have a wire the way they said so I you know I um, spliced into the one of the reverse lights, um, which if any of you guys want to see that, how I did that, I can make a separate video, just comment, but um, it was pretty straightforward. Um, but this is the, this came with this camera and it's very low quality. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be looking for a replacement, a different camera to use, because um, this is pretty, pretty crappy how it looks, but uh, it's, but it's better than nothing. I mean, I don't really care about that so much. That's not really the main reason I bought this thing for a backup camera, but you know, it's just kind of an extra feature, but just thought I'd mention that as well.